big changes at Disney World that will definitely impact your next trip, including a brand new lightning lane system that lets you pick rides before you get to the park, and some popular rides are closed as well. So here's what you need to know for your next Disney trip. Also, we are shutting down Hollywood Studios. I love this park at night because all the lights are up and it is gorgeous. It kind of actually reminds me of Christmas, which is funny enough because the first thing that we have to talk about is holiday updates. Tickets are on sale for both Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and Jollywood Nights here at Hollywood Studios, which I'm so excited for that event. They are adding new entertainment this year. Now, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party at the Magic Kingdom begins November 8th with Jollywood beginning November 9th. Now, if you're interested in Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, I would recommend booking your tickets sooner rather than later because every single party night sold out last year. Now, right now, resort guests can get tickets to those holiday events, but non-resort guests can start booking beginning July 10th. Mickey's Christmas party tickets are 169 to 219 and here are all the dates for those. Whereas Jollywood is a little bit less with 159 to 179 per person and here are the dates for that event. Now we're getting all of the same entertainment that we got last year and there was a lot of entertainment but we're also getting some new meet and greets and a brand new ice show here at Hollywood Studios. How wild is that? I think the ice skating show is supposed to be somewhere around here near the Chinese theater but can't leave out Epcot and their holiday offerings. We got confirmation that Epcot special the holidays will take place November 29th through December 30th with everything returning including the candlelight processional and the storytellers from each country which are some of my favorites. Oh my goodness, the sunset is amazing. I will say Florida at summertime is hot, but there are some incredible sunsets. But unfortunately, we're still in diet Epcot mode because there is a no festival at Epcot for the summer and we won't have a festival again until Food and Wine Festival starts at the end of August. However, we did get some information about Food and Wine Festival, so we're getting closer. We got Eat to the Beat dining package information that goes on sale July 9th. And then we also got the full Eat to the Beat concert lineup with some returning favorites and some new ones as well. But that's not the only place at Disney World where we're getting yummy food. The Flavors of Florida event returns with different Disney Springs restaurants having citrus and Floridian inspired foods. There are even culinary demonstrations and a new scavenger hunt this year, and that runs until August 11th. For rides opening and closing, the next couple of weeks, it is a roller coaster, pun maybe intended. That's because Test Track over at Epcot is closed indefinitely for Test Track 3.0 reimagining. So I'm kind of bummed that it's closed, especially during right now. It's such a very busy time of year, but I'm excited overall for the reimagining. Although, Rock and Roller Coaster is open unexpectedly. It was supposed to be closed for longer, but they finished up whatever work they were doing and now it's back open, yay. And the new Country Bear Jamboree is opening July 17th. But unfortunately, one of my favorite attractions, Peter Pan is closing on July 8th until August 20th. Now Disney hasn't said anything about this, but the permits filed for Peter Pan's closure include installation of new set elements. So there's a possibility that when the attraction does reopen, it might look a little different. Aw, everyone going to see Fantastic. That was so fun. I wish I was joining them. Tiana's Bayou Adventure is officially open and it is the popular. Now Disney said originally that they would open some kind of standby queue shortly after the ride opened. That's still as least of this recording hasn't happened yet. So we'll see about that. Now if you're looking to join the virtual queue for Tiana's, you can join it at either 7 a.m. or 1 p.m. At 7 a.m. you can be anywhere, but at 1 p.m. you have to have at least tapped into Magic Kingdom. Now if you're looking to ride Tiana's Bayou Adventure without the virtual queue. It is currently offered on Genie Plus. Well, the current slash old version of Genie Plus. That's because, oh wait, Disney movie magic has started. I have to go catch a glimpse of that. I love that show. <laughs> Starting on July 24th, we are getting a complete I love that part. We're getting a complete overhaul of the Genie Plus system. Actually, not overhaul. It's going to just be gone completely and replaced with something brand new called just simply Lightning Lane. With this new system, you'll be able to book three Lightning Lanes in advance before your park day even begins. You can book seven days in advance if you are a resort guest and three days if you are not a resort guest. But there's actually a caveat to this because we're going back to the old Fast Pass Plus tiered system, meaning you can only get a certain number of rides from each tier. But I break all of that down in this video here. So go ahead and check it out for all the details so you can do Disney right. And I'll meet you over there because I'm Molly and I'll meet you on Main Street. Oh, there's nothing like walking out and seeing some Epcot fireworks. What a great night this is.